Hello and welcome to episode 8 of the PBS RimWorld playthrough. Episode 7 was a bit of a banger, so we had some, some major, major uh, events. First of all, of course, uh, James has joined uh, the colony uh, as a field medic. I also noticed with James, actually, uh, that kind of fits the law even nicer, is that he has the artistic... He's probably our highest artistic uh, stat in the in the whole colony. So this, as we know, James is into his uh, kind of uh, art galleries and uh, and uh, music with six view, six listens. So what we will do, obviously, for James to express his creativity is to get him a, an artist bench to start sculpting and uh, making some cool stuff. Um, but mostly this episode is going to center around stabilization. So Matt is in a very, very bad way after taking a boomerang blast to the face, um, which means he is he's not, not well. Rich is not well either. He's still still struggling um, and also struggling, I think, mentally uh, with some of the issues. He is um, kind of... He's up and about for some reason. I don't know why he could collapse at any moment. That could, that could definitely happen again. Um he obviously had a little smoke up in the fridge, uh, which didn't go too well for him either. But what we also need to prioritise is, in quite a big way, defences. Because things are just wandering in, uh, and the camp's getting a bit more established now. So we need to think about defences, namely n to the north and well, pretty much everywhere. We've got really good natural kind of defences with these kind of mountain areas. So we just need to kind of use these to just, to, just to shore up the base. Um, now, we do also need to think about ease of access as well, because what we don't want, if we just wall this off and uh, Mark needs to go and hunt something up here, we don't want him to have to walk all the way around. So we'll have to think about some entrances and some stuff, um, but, but we'll kind of work through that. The priority, however, is Matt. Now, as you can see, his list of ailmo ailments grows by, by the minute, um, and we have a death in 10 hours if we don't deal with him. Um, so what we need to do is, I know James is kind of chilling, but he, as our field medic, you need to prioritize tending to Matt. Um, so let's get the game rolling. So we'll get James to do that. If we don't tend to Matt, he is going to die. So we need to get somebody on it. Rich, again, is still just kind of pissing out blood as well, um, which is not the best. So let's um, deal with a wall. So first of all, um, let's get... So we're going to go with a steel wall. Great. Heat wave. Fantastic. Um, we'll take the shortest distance here. This is going to cost us 90 steel. How much have we got? 320. So that's fine. So we get a steel wall to the north. We'll just get that sealed off. Um, and we will do the same actually here. Now, kind of don't want to waste it on a square wall, really. I think we just, we'll just do this for now. Um, so let's just stop people kind of attacking us from there. So unusual heat wave has begun. This is again. This is going to cause some serious problems um, for people, particularly. Although we do. So what we've got here. So this is actually cooling Matt's room down to 16. Um, okay, that's okay. We've got cooling in here as well. Everywhere else is going to be hot, but we'll see. James still struggling. Um, Rich is healing back up to full, kind of getting close to full HP now. Uh, let's just check on Matt. Let's make sure he's not... Okay, he's not instantly going to die. So Matt may be kind of gone for quite some time. Rich being up and about is helpful because he is also our kind of master craftsman a bit. But he's just mostly eating and going back to bed at the minute, which is which is fine. Uh, James is suffering from heat stroke. And James is about to break. Um, it's all going wrong. Stay in the fridge, lads. If there's a heat wave, stay in, stay in the fridge. Now, you can actually see that the indoor temperature in here is 13 degrees. It is so hot. 46 degrees outside. It is insane. Um, so we need to get the target temperature down in here. Otherwise, uh, we're going to have some problems. This is all kind of coming at pretty much exactly the wrong time. Uh, 44 degrees indoors is kind of insane. Um, as I said, we've got coolers in these two rooms. Temperature in here, 15 it's 15, it's okay in here. We're going to probably have to think about a cooler in here as well. Because um, just it's where they're sleeping. It's just real a real problem. So let's dump some of that stuff out. A Muffalo Shaman. I genuinely I haven't got time for this, my guy. Whatever you want to do, it's fine. I mean, unless you can come and heal someone. Um, 
then we're not really interested. Again, t temperature in here now is to is getting low. Okay, we've managed to control the temperature in here a bit more. Um, the outside is still absolutely roasting. Um, what can we actually do with this guy? He's from the Born Coalition. Okay. If you want to join us, mate, and help out. By all means, we've got a lot of exterior defences to install. Um, we are also going to have to think about defences to the south as well. So raiders, they're kind of how the AI works with raiders, is they'll always attack the weakest point. So if we were to wall ourselves completely in and just put one door down here, they will attack this door uh, as it's the weak spot. So what we can do then is... One of your colonists has gotten sick from flu. Make sure they get proper treatment. Right, how have you got flu in this heat? Oh no, um, so what we can do is, uh, we re this is where we really need like a medical, medical ward now. What we might have to do is set this as medical, so we can move Mark to that. We'll assign this, Rich, you just have to move beds, mate. Assign that to Rich, um, and then Mark will have to get better. What is actually the status of him? flu minor okay so it affects him it, i mean the, th the issue with the disease is that it can easily spread which is why you kind of want to lock him down to um other things what's mark done Last that to join so mark's now getting involved he's promised to get he hasn't promised intimacy to her so he's not kind of interested quite in the same way as rich is but a fully fit arrows will help us get things back on so matt's up and about good that's a good sign um, we also probably need Matt to re-equip the gun uh, when he is actually better. We just need this, as soon as this heat, uh, the heat wave, how long is it going to last? 18 hours. Come on. Give me a break, video game, please. We're absolutely up against it. And we've yet to get these installed because James is having to just, you know, get stuck in and tend to everybody and make sure they're okay. Um, Mark's still banging out meals. Good. Um, the thing is, so all this rice is ready, and all this corn is, you know, these crops are getting to 100% uh, ready, but we can't, can James do plant work? Let's actually see if he can do that grow work. James is, will not do growing. Rich can, but he's obviously, he's almost fully fit, so we have to put Rich back on um, dealing with crops otherwise, because Matt's going to be, I think, out for some time. Uh, unfortunately. James is really doing a good job with the cleaning though. If you could deal with this kind of, this blood's been in for about six months. Colonists need beds. Um, that's because I've set this to medical. So this is bed of James. This is Rich's bed. So basically saying Mark doesn't have a bed um, because of this now being classed as medical. So we'll have to create another bed there. Uh, wood 305, nice. So we need another bed, uh, which Mark will have to craft, or James. But we still haven't made any headway with the, the Donald Trump style wall. Um, I'm tempted actually just to take this up a couple of blocks, to be honest, um, and actually make it a bit more easy on the eye, as it were. So we'll just follow, follow this to here, like that. Um, so what we'll do, so another thing you can kind of do with dealing with raids and stuff is Mark needs treatment. Yeah, I know he does, but times are hard. As soon as Rich is up, Mark can now get in the now he can get in that bed. Um, so what we can do is you can create things. You don't really need to do it at this point in the game necessarily, but you can create kill boxes. So what we can have is a like a deliberate weak spot on the wall, and then we'll, that will feed into a kill box behind here where we have barricades and stuff, and we kind of force them to run. Um, run the gauntlet uh, through a kind of a barricade maze but with our people stood around shooting them whilst they're doing it so okay flu mine attended excellent marks in the medical bed so this these bedrooms are being re uh, repurposed uh, for the minute uh, raid outlaws right hook he's got a gun um, okay he's coming from the south I think so Rich being up and about is huge. We're going to have to just get Mark out of bed for this. 
James has zero shooting. They're gonna have to. We're gonna have to just barricade up here early, and hopefully we can just slap this guy. So we're gonna run time. Slow. He's got a shotgun. Scavenger of the Outlaws. A bolt action rifle. Poor condition. Let's just hope he's not a good shot. Um, is Rich, did I take Rich off construction? Did I do that? No, I didn't. Um, I just don't want this guy. I'm worried about this guy. He is a long way away, though. We're kind of okay for the minute. Hook. I mean, there's a chance we could get I mean, If we can get his shotgun, that's huge. That's not. If we can get his rifle, that's actually going to be huge for the kind of colony in terms of just general de defense. But it shows again just how we need to shore, shore this up in a big way. What is Rich doing? Oh, I've put him on cooking. Get off cooking. Mark's, Mark can do it. Jesus. Um, so Hook's going to come in. I hope he comes. He hits the south entrance. I think he probably will. Because we're going to need guys behind cover for this fight. Uh, we've also, even if he is alive, we've got nowhere to put him as we're still recruiting down. We did another uh, kind of prisoner's cell, as it were. Um, you going to attack us or not, bruv? Like I said, we're, we're full defense here. We're not actually... Right, we're just getting on with the Great Wall. This is perfect. We will get a notification when he comes up. Um, and then we're just going to have to wake everyone up, unfortunately. Um, but this is this is good. At least we're getting some kind of defense into the north. Uh, of the settlement for now. Like I said, we're not going to worry about a door or anything yet, or a kill box. We'll just literally get it done so they can't they can't uh, approach from that direction. This guy's taking his sweet time about it. Um, so does Mark still have flu? He does. Minor still. Okay. I mean, hopefully it won't affect his shot. It probably will. It probably does. Um, this guy's taking his time. So what we're going to do it's actually just draft mark, get him down here, just in prep. For when Hook decides to make his assault. Hopefully, if, if he is looking like he's going to come this way, we get behind this barricade here. So we have got a couple of different defensive options. Let's just speed up a minute. I just want him to attack, get this over with. Need warm clothes. Alright. Now it's cold. When the cold season comes. Yeah, I know. We're, we're working on it. We're working on it. All right, here he goes. He is attacking. Where is he attacking? Uh, Rich. Time to wake up, brother. Yeah, he's coming here. Quick. Get your ass out here now. In fact, I'm going to move Mark to here. Rich here. So we get the bolt action rifle up close. Guys. Nice shot. Rich, here. Oh, have you not got a gun? Rich hasn't got a gun. Go and equip this. When did you lose your gun, Rich? Mark, finish him, please. No. Mark, you've got to be a better shot than this guy, please. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. This is like the world's worst shootout. They're both terrible. James, get up. Oh, Matt. Can we get Matt up? Get down here, please. Do something. If this hook guy cleans out the whole colony, we're in trouble. Mark's got flu, so his aim is garbage. Matt, no, go and equip, equip the revolver, quick. Right. Fuck. <laughs> Matt, equip the revolver. Matt, you have to clutch this up. Get out here. Now, he's taking Mark. <laughs> Hook is taking Mark. Matt. He's captured him. Oh, my God. <laughs> Matt, come on. You have to cut him off. He's slow because he's moving with Mark. You have to. We have to save him. Oh my god, this is going wrong. James is sorting out Rich. Okay, good. Oh, for fuck's sake, we're going to lose Mark here. We're going to have to <laughs> go on a rescue mission. 
And this man can hit a shot. Oh my god. Nah, that's it. We've lost Mark. <laughs> We've lost him. He's gone. Hook actually came in and cleaned house. Oh, fuck. Matt, get back to base. Offer him 8%. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. We are Connellists. We've gone from being at four to a down. Oh, Rich took another. Because I think... I don't know what happened there. Rich didn't have his gun equipped. It must have happened in one of the fights. He must have lost it, or it's or it was damaged or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, he managed to, to be fair. He managed to build the wall. That's just kind of okay. But he's in a bad, bad way again. Gunshot wounds. So did Mark drop his rifle? Okay, it, he did. So we can at least recover this. We need a warden. Um, nobody can do wardening. No one until Rich is better. Oh no. <laughs> Mark's been captured by. This is why we need better defenses, man. This is just crazy. We, we were slow to uh, to get this stuff done, and now it's uh, it's cost us uh, the life of EWAF. Um, so we've only got 71 steel as well, so we need to actually, like, oh, mine, we need to top up reserves so we can build more of the wall. Um, but again, I don't think. We've got nobody with Warden who can recruit Diana. Um, so again, this is dropping now. So she, recruitment chance is dropping just because no one's talking to her. Um, can anybody else do Warden? They're both zero. So priority has to be to return Rich to good health um, as soon as possible. But it's all starting to fall apart a little bit here for the PBS crew. Again, the arrival of James, I have to say. Um, James' is shooting is zero. But I think... It's kind of better than nothing to have someone with a gun. Um, can we actually change this? Because the dogs are adding. Oh, I don't care. They seem to. Okay, whatever. Um, I think there's a thing you can do. You can set where the dogs will. I think we need to just train them in attack here because they're add. They're just milling around, doing bugger all when they could actually be helping. Um, to fight off our would-be uh, assailants and capturers of Eboff. Um, he's been kidnapped, unfortunately. Um, minor break risk. So we really, 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 really need to just batten down the hatches now and settle this into some kind of rhythm. It's all going wrong. Um, uh, and again, the defences to the south just, just didn't cut it yet again um so we have got a bit of wood so what we could do temporarily i'm tempted to just extend the um, medical emergency diana what now i have to pause it what's going on is it heat stroke yeah extreme heat because she's stuck in this tiny tiny little room um i don't know if there's anything we can do about it is there um, unless we move her, unless we move her. Oh, and it can't because of the enclosed spaces. Because of this, because we took the, we're going to put this in, and Rich is. Oh, it's all going wrong. Diana might die. Um, there's nothing we can do. Um, Matt, if Matt gets back, we can switch this to a uh, prisoner's bed, so she will move into a cooler room. That's I think all we can do. We just have to hope Matt gets better. Uh, ASAP. Um, so otherwise, she uh, she's going to kind of struggle. Um, I mean, everything is struggling. I mean, this is the last thing we need, lads. I'll be honest. Just just leave or help. Just do one or the other. Leave or help. Um, come on, Matt. Again, we are relying on Matt to, to gather this colony and, and haul it over the line. Um, Oh, I'm so disappointed we've lost Mark. I mean, to be fair, it's his own fault. He was in a 1v1 and he lost it, basically. So I think you just got to win, win your battles, right? Major break risk, James. Again, this, this heat wave is killing us. This is all just happening at the wrong, uh, wrong time. Um, come on, Matt. Get up. It's only a burn. 
you'll be fine. Just a little bit of, you know, crispiness on the edge. It's okay. Just we need you back out here, Matt. Otherwise, we are stuffed. Diana's gonna flip and die. Um, James is having to run the colony by himself. Uh, the Huskies are just chilling, uh, literally doing nothing. Nobody's content. Nobody. Oh, James can actually tame them. Okay, has he got animal skills? He. Um, yeah, he has got. He's got pretty good handling skills. All right, yeah, right. They're trying to attack now. Yeah, we're going to need it. Uh, we're definitely going to start sacrificing. Uh, the other thing is as well, all these crops are just sitting here, and food, food reserves are actually okay. All right. All right, mass up. So this bed. For prisoners, this bed, not for prisoners. Diana, somebody move Diana to this room now. James, capture her, move her. Fucking hell. Um, right, good. That should keep her alive. The room is fairly cool. It'll be okay. Right, we solved that problem. Matt's back. Oh, this was all damaged by the beef, by the the, the uh, explosion. Uh, right, what work have we got Matt assigned to? Matt is kind of, to be honest, he's going to have to do everything. He is assigned to everything. Good. Um, he's repairing this to... Uh, okay. The only issue we have really is mining. Can James do mining? Uh... Mining only oh. only rich can mine. Oh, so we can't even replenish this kind of steel stocks either. Um, sadly, right, Matt is this is good though. Matt is at least cracking on with this job. He's back. It's okay. We just need to extreme break risk, rich. Yeah, we know, mate. I know. I know it's bad. Just need you to hang in there, please. Um, Oh, fucking hell. Okay, what we're going to do, though, the barricades, we are going to, we've got a fair bit of wood, so let's get, what we're going to do is we're going to extend the barricades. Solar flare. I mean, come on. Heat wave. Oh, the heat wave's gone. Okay, but we've lost all of our electricity for a day. So what if we do, if we just build the barricade out here, We'll just block this entrance as well. It's not as good as a wall, obviously it's not as secure, but it will just stop people wandering in. Um, and then I think we'll have to prioritize the same here. We just need to, I mean, what we can do is well, we can put a door in here um, and we can actually put a, we could actually put a steel door. Um, we could actually put a steel door to the north. So they're, they're slower to open, but they're hard, obviously harder for people to break through. Um, Matt is, so he's not very good at construction, so he's going to take longer to get it done, but it kind of doesn't matter. Wag meat has rotted away in storage. Well, that's because it's a thousand flipping degrees. Right. The solar flare's passed. So hopefully they get rid of this. Is, let me just check this isn't allowed. Rotten is not allowed in the fridge. Okay, good. Oh my god. Come on, Matt. Finish this, please. Just. We need some some protection from the outside world. Um, now we have got 71 steel, so we could make a bit of a start uh, at least. So we just need to think. Uh, it we can kind of sort of use this as a. Although we need to be careful. So this this needs this amount of space. So the wall, if the wall intersects this, the turbine will stop working. So our wall needs to basically run from here. So let's do that. Um, structure, steel wall. That's 65. So we can go that far with, just, with steel. Okay. Uh, is there any more steel on the map we can just collect as well? That's the other thing. There was some up here which we collected. Uh, how are we doing for healing? Okay, we, we, again, we just need everybody fit and well. Um, also, actually, Matt, can you equip the rifle? I don't want to. I don't want to end up in this situation again. Um, I really don't. Basically, the the success of the entire colony is now 
hinges on Matt's ability to do everything. Rich is nearly back though. Like he's in severe pain, which I appreciate. But two bolt, yeah, two rifle shots. That guy, so he killed, knocked Rich out of the fight and kidnapped Mark. My word. That's a bad, this is a bad, bad episode. Right, Matt is doing that good. Okay, now what we can probably do is, so that was 65. How much have we got left? Six. We might not be able to finish this because he's botched the construction. That we did rely on perfect construction. So we've got three. Um, we are going to need some doors, otherwise the guys won't be able to leave the colony. Okay, so let's finish this up with, let's put a wooden door in. Because they need to, they're going to need to be able to get out. But these wooden doors, it's better than nothing, and we'll sort the rest out in a bit. Um, and then we are going to need some wooden barricades. We've got 116. I'm thinking we'll take it this way, and then run it to here. All right. So again, we'll, up, we'll upgrade this to a, uh, make sure we're not intersecting. Okay, that's fine. Um, so we'll make sh we'll, we'll, we'll have fully solid walls eventually once we've got uh, the, you know the people to mine the stuff. But for now, we just need a some kind of security and a couple of entrances out uh, of the of the base. Um, catatonic suffered a total mental breakdown. Entered a catatonic state. He will recover in several days. The final straw was hideous environment. So Rich is absolutely on the edge on the edge so james is very good at moving hauling materials around uh not so good at um doing stuff uh but okay it's fine so what, what we really need to do now is have barricades on this side of the wall so our guys if anybody breaks this down we could just kind of sit here but like i said matt is just having to do everything um the only thing is we've got nobody prepping meals um we've got nobody cooking who can cook Right, neither of these guys can. This is the other problem. Like none, neither, none of these guys can cook. Um, so we really need Rich back, and we really need this to happen. Oh, but no one is. No one's talking to her. This is the problem. No one's actually doing the the wardening job. As we lost, we got, as soon as we got Rich back, he was gone. But I think he's nearly. He's look at the kind of health bar. He's getting there. It's just these two two issues here that are causing a problem but he's having a breakdown uh, as well oh my goodness me so we haven't been able to get this in this is because we, we haven't got any if we've not got enough components for this we haven't got enough steel for it Fuck. oh no um i think what we're gonna have to do is cancel that and we'll just have to put the wall back in um because it isn't going to be helping the guys um uh, why can't we have a wooden wall? Oh my god, we've not got any wood either. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. That'll do. Uh, healing, 35 and 10. Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing okay for healing. We've got some more trees up here which will grow soon. Um, so we haven't even got enough wood to replace the wall that we broke down. I mean, now we could actually deconstruct these to be fair because we don't need this anymore uh, which will give us some resources back as well that will help um, but like I say these guys have only got 11 meals left before it starts becoming a big problem um, so we really could do with Rich not having a breakdown and um, sort of you know not causing us problems um we're okay for power batteries are doing okay this is still got, this is fully done this thing matt keeps botching the construction because he's just not he's not but we are getting some back you know we're getting some resources back from this um right, james is cleaning up he's a fucking good cleaner i have to say the unsightly environment isn't helping rich obviously there's like blood everywhere um so we will we are starting to stabilize. We've got defenses in on all key sides, apart from uh, you know, a few builds that Matt just needs to finish up. Um, but he's doing everything solo, so I can't really, uh, 
can't really begrudge him the, the break right now. He is doing the Lord's work again, getting stuck in. Um, heal root. This thing we've got nobody on plants. Well, Matt is Matt can do it actually. Um, because it would be nice to top up. Because what we might need to think about is if we're, we're going to start running low on meals until Rich can come out and cook. So Rich is when he is up, he needs to be wardening. He needs to be cooking. I don't think we're going to construct anything. We'll take him off growing as well. And you know what? I'm going to take him off hauling and clean. James is doing a good job of cleaning. So we'll just give Rich more of a clean sort of slate to work from in terms of um, just focusing on cooking and just staying alive. Matt. <laughs> he is still just unbreakable. Need a warden. Yeah, I know. I know we need a warden. I'm aware of that. Everybody's either dead or dying right let's start to harvest some of this stuff as well um heal root is key for our survival like i say the graves are, are piling up now unfortunately um right okay we can probably build this wall now um structure get the wall in we still don't have enough wood right matt's focusing on planting now when he needs to do this i mean it, what day is it? September. I'm not sure actually if replanting is the way to go. Periphery, 100%. I mean, the corn is all done, so we're going to have a load of food. But we're just the problem is we're just not going to have anyone to to cook it. Um, we're very short on simple meals until Rich wakes up. Come on. He said it might. He said it will pass in a few days. So he's basically just not functioning as a human right now. Um, I'm gonna have to take Matt off. I guess to take Matt off growing. It's just this is he's just prioritizing the wrong stuff. Um, just don't don't do that. Just cut plants, chop down trees. Just yeah, thank you. Um, can James do plant cut? I don't think he can. He can, right? James can do it as well. He's on it. He's only got one, but he can do it. Just so just do it. Uh, okay, let's get this wall back in now. We should have we've actually got some wood. So let's plumb that back in. I just don't like the thing being open. Okay. We have defenses. We have things. We've lost Mark. So we gained uh, we gained a, uh, a colonist and we've lost a colonist. Right, again, another very, very, very hectic episode. Um, we need to continue to do some more work uh, on defenses uh, in the barricades and stuff, but um, we have at least solved the immediate crisis. Although we now have a medical emergency, so Diana is malnutrition because we haven't got any simple meals to feed her. Oh, why? James, prioritize, capture her. Uh, what we need to do is set her to. food can we prioritize feeding her maybe rich you need to get up brother <laughs> like seriously you need to wake up you need to cook a meal and feed someone it's because we haven't got warden that's why nobody uh, uh, again not interested in trading like someone just save this colony come on rich i need to see if rich can get up before we end this episode let's see if it's a longer episode it's a longer episode it's fine um because without a warden, and these guys literally cannot do it either. They have no skill in it at all. This is why Diana... Look, we've moved it to a new... We've solved the heat stroke problem. We've got that as done. And now this is kind of cropped up. Come on, Rich. We need you. In a big way. And this is not helping with the recruitment either. <laughs> why would she want to say... Can any of you lads just, like, pitch in? Christ, there's enough of you. Come on, boys. Wake up. Go super speed for a minute just to get everybody up. All right, mass up. This is the thing. He's only got, only got six meals left of our own stuff, let alone Diana's. I can't do... I can't... I can't walk. He can't get up. He's actually fully healed, I think. Diana's dead. Oh, God's sake. 
No, don't. Oh my god, he's eating the flipping corpse. Oh no, shotgun. But shotgun bush, the lads. It's because yeah, nobody's crafting kibble for them, so they're consuming the body. Uh, I mean, it is a way to get rid of it, I suppose. Um, fair enough. Okay, Diana's now headless um, because she's being eaten by the husky army. Um, okay, I guess. I mean, it's a way to feed them. It's just an unfortunate... This is going to be Stephen. Um, now, obviously, it's not going to be Stephen. We'll have to um, uh, find another, uh, another way, uh, as it were. So Matt's making some friends. Um, I think we just let the dogs finish her off, unfortunately, because... There's kind of, a, there's just no way back. <laughs> there's no way back from this. Can we actually see her? What's her health? So, bitten off. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're going to leave the episode there. <laughs> uh, we really, really, really need Rich to wake up. Otherwise, pretty much certain that the entire, this playthrough might be done if Rich doesn't wake up soon uh, and actually cook some meals for people. Otherwise, we are stuffed. But... What an episode yet again. The um, the craziness continues. And of course, I haven't even you know, talked about the fact that we have uh, lost Mark to uh, uh, a kidnapping. What, what, what an episode. Right, guys. Well, take it easy and I'll see you on the next one.